You guys ever watch U.S. combat footage in like Afghanistan or Iraq or somewhere? Like you go on the internet and then you just look up military clashes. You know, like a YouTube channel that has all of all the footage of all of these military units around the world combating their enemies. You know. And then you look up uh, the U.S. against uh, our enemies and in the Middle East and you get a bunch of hippies, you get a bunch of, uh, I, I guess, Muslims saying that this was absolutely for no reason, it has nothing to do with 9-11 or something like that. And then you kind of wonder why they were even there. Not like our troops were even there, like the people watching this. You kind of wonder why they were even on that video and left a comment there. You kind of wonder if you don't like the United States and you don't like the armed forces, why are you watching a video of US troops being in contact with enemy forces? I'm just asking. If you're gonna be a dirty hippie and say the U.S. is a stupid country, then, you know, live in the U.S. and hate the military, but watch the military in combat, you're a special kind of stupid. Now, I don't know what the whole Samantha B thing is about. I guess Samantha B is like another Stephen Colbert, you know, like another leftist, left-wing liberal, democrat, whatever, I don't know. But she probably said too many inappropriate things, like most liberals do. They have no class, they have no retort, they generally have no buffer. I mean, I, I don't have much of a buffer, but when you guys uh, see me out on this camping trip with my friend, you'll probably see him act as a bit of a buffer for me. Because I can say some pretty stupid shit. I can. You, just, you guys don't hang out with me that much for me to say stupid shit yet. So, I don't know. I can say some pretty weird things. But one of the things uh, that uh, this uh, liberal commentator said was that uh, Ivanka Trump w posted a Twitter post of her and her daughter on Memorial Day or something. And she's like, as a mother, why don't you get your father to do things about anchoring or yanking or wrenching mothers and parents away from their babies that are illegal immigrants? And why don't you tell your father that the only reason why he's pulling out of the Iran deal is because he's a prejudiced man against Muslims? Do it, Ivanka. You'll be doing us all a favor. Uh, if only this lady knows how fairly treated the LGBT is in the Middle East. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you're an Israeli, I'm pretty sure they don't give a shit with sexual orientation. You take part in. Uh, it's mostly farming and, you know, military service as the biggest employment thing over there. So I highly doubt they give a shit what sexual orientation you're taking part in. But you know, Muslims being Muslims, they do care what sexual orientation you're part of. Does Samantha B know there's electric shock treatment for LGBT children? One would almost say where her loyalty lies if she's for the LGBT community. And obviously all these things she's saying, she, it's obviously scripted. I mean, some of what Ben Shapiro says is scripted and some of what many of these other conservative reporters or figureheads is, are scripted. But it's obvious that everything Samantha B says is scripted because no one could say such horrible things about one person and not have it be all lies. Check you guys around.